This week three XFL picks edition of Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by MyBookie.ag. MyBookie is your home for the NBA, college basketball, and the XFL. Use the promo code SGP and get up to one thousand dollars in free bets. MyBookie.ag promo code SGP to play, win, and get paid at MyBookie. We're also brought to you by Hawthorne. If you smell good, you bet good. Get ten percent off personalized cologne, shampoo, deodorant, and more. Just go to Hawthorne.co and use promo code SGP. That's Hawthorne with an E. .co promo code SGP. We're also brought to you by Simply Safe, the leader in home security. Go to simplysafe.com/sgp today to get free shipping on your order plus a sixty-day money-back guarantee. That's simplysafe.com/sgp to save on home security today. S I M P L I Safe. Dot com slash SGP. We're also brought to you by Vincero Watches. Vincero creates exceptionally crafted watches and they do it without breaking the bank. Head over to VinceroWatches.com, promo code SGP to receive 15% off and free shipping on your watch. That's VinceroWatches.com, promo code SGP. We're also brought to you by Ace Per Head. Ace is the leader in pay per head providers and they make it super easy to start your own sportsbook. Plus, Ace is offering up to six weeks free over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. Welcome, everyone, to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I am Sean, stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer Dog? Not much, Sean. Just happy to be here. Happy for you to be here. Happy for our guest to be here. Joining us in studio, number fifteen seated, <laughs> Colby Dan, aka the Danta Base. What's happening, Colby? XFL paid their players, guys. <laughs> yeah, they tweeted that out. That was big news. <laughs> hey, we paid our players, which I, 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 it's I get it. Maybe you're maybe you're making fun of the AAF, yeah. but maybe don't. Maybe uh, maybe act like you've been there before XFL. Uh, I lo- I'm, yeah, I'm enjoying the XFL. Fun. It's good fun. No, but I think there is some weird aspect there going on. I I love the XFL. It's been it's been super enjoyable. I love cashing all this money. I love the fact that we're all in on all unders, going six and two against the spread. I love that. There is a weird thing because I'm I'm sucked into XFL Twitter now. I'm following all these different beat writers and different accounts. And there is a weird thing going on where People are acting like they've been fans of these teams and the league their entire lives. And there's there's already like people sucking up to XFL beat writers and like social media but, guys and stuff. You know, no one does it more than uh XFL eight three five Kevin Jim eighty four. This guy, no one breaks XFL news like him. He is grinding it out there. He's putting in the work day in, day out, getting you the XFL news. It's like, okay. Can yeah. I, can We're I two take, weeks in? Let's, can I take the baton? It's been fun. From XFL eight five three beat writer, <laughs> who just... had the decency and the responsibility as a journalist to validate the news he was breaking. I saw some of this too, Sean. They're talking about how some of these beat writers they they're not responsible journalists. <laughs> <laughs> I like, all right, it's like all right, guys. Meanwhile. I have an awesome DFS lineup with the exception of <laughs> the quarterback I started. Turns out the guy didn't start. Like I, I'm on Twitter. I'm a degenerate. I'm all in on the XFL. How do I miss this? I'm following multiple uh, like sea dragons and battle Hawks guys and rene- <laughs> renegade Jim. Well, well, you, well, you gotta be careful. And I'm sorry, Colby, you are the guest. I, you will get a chance to speak, but what, what you have to be careful <laughs> is for whatever reason, the beat rep- reporter position got really popular sometime in the last couple Everyone's weeks. Everyone's fighting to be the Woj of XFL. Well, people are pretending to be beat writers <laughs> when they're just a dude yeah. at home <laughs> with a bunch of Google alerts. Very yeah. true. Very true. I, I think I'm going to go on record 50% of quote XFL beat rep- reporters for, for don't Daisy. have a full time job. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would say, I mean, that is no, no, like (laughs) I'll even say if you're getting paid by a publication to cover the XFL, that counts. Yeah. But I don't think that most of those are all part-time jobs. Uh, But 
I don't I don't mean but, to say this as if I don't like it. It's just funny how people are acting like they're all in and lifelong XFL th- and it's I, a good there, buzz to have though. There was a guy on on Twitter like talking trash. Like I look at the XFL memes, it's like, "Oh, that's classic uh, BattleHawks fans." It's like, "What do you mean? There's been two <laughs> games. They haven't even played a home game." The, the one guy was talking shit. He goes, "Oh yeah, like I'm going to listen to someone in the Eastern Conference." I didn't even know there were conference. There's eight teams. What do you what do you mean? No, but I, but okay, but back to the original thing. The the tweet uh I but it's all it's fun, but it's all it's funny like the people Sean, there's what? a reason the windshield is bigger than the rear view mirror. Wow. <laughs> he keeps using that. Hold on, dude, but like like ever saw <laughs> e- you know oh e- my God. What does it say for Colby that he's heard me say that multiple times? <laughs> ever saw the guy who started the AF was originally working with Vince McMahon. And then uh they, they had a disagreement. He started his own league and he tried to beat beat uh, the XFL to the punch. I think there's some bad blood there, so they're trying to do a little fuck you. Oh yeah, I, I get XFL. No. I get XFL social. They they have a little pro wrestling in them, a little like, hey, <laughs> stick it to the AF. Oh, the ratings came out. We gotta we gotta make sure it's framed properly so everyone's buying in. Can hey, I make a comment? I, I like it. I'm gambling yeah. on it. I'm it enjoying it. It does feel like you're watching wrestling when when they're not watching football. I do like, feel like whatever what? directors or. or <laughs> Direct, what do you mean like, when they're not watching football? Or when they we're not watching football. When we're when when we're watching sideline reports, when we're watching locker room cameras, it feels very much not like the first XFL. Yeah. The first no, XFL no, no, no. felt I'm, like wrestling. I'm yeah. not saying it yeah. feels like I'm watching a wrestling event. I'm saying it feels like they hired some people from the video team that does that produces the wrestling events. The, just the way an interview is shot in the locker room, typically on Fox or NBC or CBS, is done a certain way, and they're doing it the WWE way. Well, and and and, and, and not to interrupt, but I, I think a great example of your point, and uh, almost the best version of it was when they interviewed Matt McGloin during <laughs> halftime, and he dude. said. What do, what do you have to do differently? We have to get rid of our entire offensive game plan, and including uh, apparently Matt McLeod. But what, it was what a piece of shit. What he, a he shit just threw right? everyone. He was just pouting. in the fourth quarter too. They interviewed him, and he's still like explaining to the coach, like, "Look, they they, they got to get on the same page." Like, it's like, dude. What are you going to take responsibility for some of that shit yourself? Not the first time cla- he's been a part of a program that had to completely change the game plan. <laughs> and this is why this is why like Guardians that. football is just known for <laughs> dysfunction. They this is the history that your, we have for your Guardians. team. Your team, Kramer. No, not my team. <laughs> I'm really not happy about this, but I'll call it out. Thank you to the damn. U.S. Postal Service for delaying my Houston Roughneck sweatshirt, or I would be wearing that tonight. I, yeah, you know what? Not hard to find. A lot of size small, not a lot, of, a lot bro, of size large. Bro, how about that Cam Phillips DFS play? Damn. Three fucking touchdowns. Okay, baby. Yeah. You know what else is exciting, guys? <laughs> Colby, he's turning us down, Colby. Hey, everyone's got Roughneck fever, and you can cash in over at my bookie, Dad AG. The presenting sponsor of this podcast, of course. Head over there to play when you get paid. Use that deposit uh, code SGP <laughs> to get a deposit <laughs> bonus up to one thousand dollars in bonus bets. We get a bonus football league in the XFL, and we got bonus money from my bookie.ag match made in heaven. Head over there to play, win, and get paid. We're gonna be going heavy into, of course, XFL Week Three recapping. Week two, we've already touched on it. There's still a couple fun sound bites and storylines to get to. But quick uh, sidebar here: make sure you check out sportsgamblingpodcast.com/slash bracket to enter uh, to enter your bracket in for the hashtag bites bracket challenge, where we're selecting. We have 32 sound drops, and we're selecting a number one, and it's going to be you guys voting. You have until Sunday at midnight. To get your entry in, five hundred dollars to the uh, person who submits the most accurate bracket. But people are already kind of weighing in on Twitter at Gambling Podcast. Kind send, of. Send, there's kind a lot of. of. I mean, there is a lot of lot of heat, Ryan, as you like to say, a social media blowtorch is overtaking the feed <laughs> as everyone's weighing in. Hot, 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 hot. There, there's been a couple. Uh, that, I think five, the five seed, hot, hot, hot. There's been a, a, a to me I think 
hashtag Dejans only. Look out for that sound drop. Just look out. <laughs> we may have misseeded it, but it, it, it just came in so new. I mean, that's literally the drop is not even a month old. It felt weird to put it in the top four, the top Sh- five, the top six. Sean, how far do you have? Be honest. How far do you have them going? I have them going pretty far. I got to pull up my bracket, <laughs> but I, I think I have them. It's when you actually do the bracket and the brackets are kind of fun one per email. I know guys are already itching, dying to get that second bracketed <laughs> much like Kramer who plays like nine best ball leagues or uh, nine. he's got a player going in every game. Yeah. All right. So uh, not to talk about best ball, but uh, I may have entered my first slow draft. Uh, it's it's only <laughs> February, but I, it, the draft hasn't happened. Sean, how how far do you have them going? You know, I have hashtag dungeons only. I have them beating Sam Bradford is not a franchise oh, quarterback, oh. in spite of the fact. Oh. And again, I'm not looking at it bias. In spite of the fact that I hate Sam Bradford, and it's the <laughs> my only uh, author drop in the contest. But hashtag dungeons only is just so good. I still remember the pure joy I got when. The uh, guy on Fiverr sent over the clearly mispronounced version <laughs> of DJ's only, so, and but then I have him losing to Long Cox in the mm, following round. Not me. And I, I got him beating Long Cox, huh? Yeah, I, I get it. I get why you would have that. But Long <laughs> Cox, Long Cox to me goes all the way to the finals. Squares off wow. against baby F and Just Whale. Just giving away your whole loses. bracket, Sean. Jesus. Well, I already I already tweeted out and shared it on Instagram. I, I, you know, obviously, Sean. A lot of people don't know how to use computers that listen to us, or even work for us. Um, but yeah, <laughs> is that he's taking a fucking jab? I'm just sitting over here quiet. No, I'm Colby, quiet over here. He's Colby, just, he's Colby knows me. how to use Instagram. Colby, how do you feel about your matchup right now? You are the, uh, of course, you're the. What do we got yet? The number fifteen seed. Well, has Colby looked at the bracket? Mm-hmm. I mean, I saw other people's brackets. There you go. Okay. You know what? And and, and then I had to muzzle myself because I was going to respond like, "You piece of shit." You know what I mean? (laughs) First off, you were not a member of the committee. Are you happy with the committee expanding the field from sixteen to thirty-two drops? Yeah, I think you should even expand it a little more. You know what (laughs) I mean? You have a you have a very tough matchup. You're in the East region the Jason Garrett region, the number 15 seed, you're going up right out of the gate against baby. F I and saw Whale. that. I don't appreciate that. You're just, but, I don't appreciate that. But seating, but. A 15 seed isn't, I feel like you, I, I know your love of college basketball. If anyone loves the underdog, the 15 seed, it's you, you love the mid major. This is someone who I guess San Diego State not this year, but like someone who randomly made you this know. is Hampton, Iowa State. Exactly. Oh, this there, is there. Yeah. We, that's yeah. what we need. Yeah. We need Colby to go deep. This is yeah. Cal State Northridge on a good year coming in. <laughs> hey, repping. He's going alumni here. He's yeah, going, he's <laughs> Shout out out to base <laughs> as a 15 seed. Is Shout out Lehigh. To yeah, with CJ McCollum. And hey, they oh, beat nice. Duke. Yeah, yeah. Remember they beat Duke. They beat yeah. Duke. Will they beat Duke again? Baby F and Whale. I think is going to cruise. Oh, you, it's it's who you match me up with that I don't appreciate. You know. Well, what I mean? again, that's that's the committee. There's only so much we can do. <laughs> what were the other two seeds? The other two seeds. Uh, the other two seeds. I'm sorry. Yeah. Long the other Cox. Two I, I think uh, Long Cox. Uh, actually, I'd rather I'd rather go against Baby F and Whale Ooh. than Long Cox. Yeah. It's a baby fucking wheel, man. I mean, Boston Capper was online making a real case for baby F and whale. He wanted somehow partial credit because we said like, it's, oh, he is the original baby F and whale. He also wanted credit for, uh, I want me some glory hole. I want me some glory hole. I'm because be he's, honest, that's he's like, the one that sent in the Jerry Jones drop. That's a real sleeper to me. I, I'm with him on that. Like the glory hole is underrated. Well, and again, it, it, this is the first year. Well, we just got a new. We might have a late entry. Do we need to expand to a first four? This is the look Hold out. On. I gotta write this down. <laughs> look out for 2021 <laughs> potential like four seed. We'll get a solid year hyping this up. Oh man, uh, but yeah, I mean, look, I get it. I like being a 15 seed. I just uh, you know, I miss. I who who was the uh, the panel the committee. It was Kramer and I was the committee. Ah, there's the flaw. There's the flaw. <laughs> All right. We'll uh gonna jump over. Talk about week two XFL recap. How awesome we did, how much money we cashed. 
part about having a ton of cash and it's pretty awesome. You know what else? What else makes you feel good? Smelling good. That's right. You still wearing that polo blue from your high school girlfriend. I opened up my uh, medicine cabinet today and I was clearing some things out. Expired pills. <laughs> try to try to just to make sure that they were expired. Wife uh, <laughs> fractured a vertebrae a couple years ago. Want to make sure those are expired. They are. And you're supposed to get rid of them. But I also noticed I had a bunch of old cologne that I don't wear at all. It's like CK one. My mom got me for Christmas five years ago. Oh, sending a message from mom. So. Yeah, I, I love my mom, but it's time for an updated <laughs> smell. You know, you can update your look. Why not update your smell? Uh, it's visceral earlier in the show before we turn the mics on and the camera on horrible smell coming <laughs> from right across from me. And uh, it was due to Ryan's burping, but let's be honest. You probably burp. You probably uh, fart at times because you're a dude. Listen, hashtag Dejans only. You're living that lifestyle. You're probably March Madness coming up. You're probably going to spend a solid 12 hours on the couch. You're going to be smelling pretty ripe unless you prepare <laughs> properly. Get some of that customized Hawthorne deodorant. When you hit the showers, make sure you get some nice shampoo, body wash, get a little moisturizer. It's the winter. Skin gets dry as hell. And again, the best part about it, you can get delivered to your house. You don't have to go to Walgreens. You don't have to wait in a long line. You don't have to make awkward eye contact with your arch nemesis one again, home delivery, customized products. If that wasn't enough, you get 10% off your purchase. That's right. All you got to do is head over to Hawthorne.co. That's H A W T H O R N E.co. Use our code S G P to get 10% off Hawthorne.co promo code S G P. Yeah. Great news. One of the little ones smelled like crap today after school. Just just took some of that Hawthorne cologne, sprayed it all over. <laughs> she spelled extremely spicy. Now, did you use the work or the play? Oh, because of that's that's always it's a fun little conversation. Well, I asked her. I said, "Are we going to work? Or are we about to have some fun?" She went with the fun. So spicy what? it was. And I I have the same <laughs> thought process every time before I come to the show. Is it work? Is it play? I think it's play because it was pretty fun week two in the XFL. The defenders, twenty-seven guardians, zero clean sweep. My defenders, baby. DC minus seven. Colby made it his lock. Uh, we were all on DC minus seven. Felt like a a low number here, uh, even for even for uh, how new the XFL is. Initially, you want to lean dogs, of course, the under hit, but the defenders' defense really carried them. DFS, they had 25 points, and uh, this Guardians team looks to be complete trash. Kramer, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's this DC's playing for a championship. You're uh, a Guardians fan. I'm not a Guardians. Fan. We've, me and Sean have decided to be a Guardians. Fan. Why are you <laughs> Guardian, <laughs> Guardian Kramer over there? Just because you decided Classic Guardian. to root for a Guardian quarter of the league <laughs> doesn't mean I'm going to root for a quarter of the league. How, I don't live in what that area. What happens when your Guardians come down and play my Defenders? Oh shit! Hmm? Shut out. You want right? to create a rivalry here? I'm not rooting for a gargoyle. The, the defenders fans. That is not <laughs> something I'm into. We're chanting I'm not New going, York sucks. New, New York, York sucks. It was great. better, better New York quarterback right now. <laughs> Eli Manning <laughs> or, or Matt McGloin <laughs> or no oh, stop. I'm it. just trying to help Mr. Stop Jones in the it, bites yeah. bracket, but Every, I think, I think Eli Manning versus Matt McGloin is a serious yeah, question. Yeah. Everyone think, who listens to this podcast knows I have rough neck fever. <laughs> Look, if <laughs> you're lucky, uh, this is Ryan. Yeah. The I, the roughneck fever is taking him no. over. Uh, you're lucky, uh, Eli was never mic'd up like Matt McGlynn. He would have thrown his table under the or his <laughs> his team under the table plenty of plenty of times. Trust me. Seattle Dragons seventeen. Tampa sea Dragons. <laughs> Seattle Dragons seventeen. Tampa Bay Vipers nine. I, I don't know why the Sea Dragons or uh, plus two and a half dogs <coughs> all over that. They of course were my lock at two and a half. Pretty easy, kind of not a super pretty game, but this Dragons team, I think there is a legit home field advantage for this Dragons team playing thirty thousand at, at the at the that uh, stadium in Seattle, Century Link, I want to say or something yeah. like Century yep. Field. Yeah. And I mean, they were jacked up. The fans are all in. And just to handicap in this game, Tampa Bay to Seattle, 
That is a long flight, especially on the Southwest or coach or whatever spirit, spirit, spirit. airline. They, they have airplanes. I, I tweeted yeah, those. They have airplanes, <laughs> but it's conveniently the, the, like them, the photos of them getting off the airplane, it's conveniently photoshopped. So you don't see that it's just like a regular airplane. <laughs> There's like some guy, oh, Hey, I'm in a B 48. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I got your seat here. <laughs> no, it's not. They don't. They're not fl- flying first class. It's like the plane in Major League, yeah. essentially. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the XFL. They ha- they have to pay their players, but that, that's what's not the the pilot. That's what's charming <laughs> about the XFL. Seattle, solid defense. The Tampa Bay Vipers. They just they have a good defense. Glanville's got a good defense. They it's do. The they offense. really do. And the offense moves the ball. They just can't convert in the red zone. That's really what it is. The uh, the Vipers are snake bitten by the no, red zone. No, de- it's Tressman. You can't be like Flowers looks good one possession, gets points, yeah. and it's like he doesn't play for like five more possessions. He's switching quarterbacks every other. Can, can we get him out of the league? Make Glanville <laughs> the head coach. All right. Yeah. The Glanville yeah. double headset has really been. Uh, I mean, pretty awesome. <laughs> Make him the head coach. He's better. He's had more success in the NFL. We're, wait, we're already calling for someone to get fired. Yeah, Pepper Johnson already got fired. So Tressman needs to be next. Make Glanville. You uh, know, how t- Tampa will move to my favorite team. I'll have three teams. My if they make Glanville, <laughs> if they make Glanville head coach, I'll have three. Well, teams. he's going to make Elvis de- defensive coordinator, right, to take over. Yes, yes. My Too bad. legit to quit. My bad. Tressman, not a good coach. <laughs> no. The Vipers, super awesome uh, logos, super awesome, uh, badass, scary snake helmets. Visor. But other than that, it's uh, it's kind of been downhill. Is Seattle like are are they right on the outside looking in of that top two teams? <laughs> no, I think I think uh, I think St. Louis is a little bit better, but Seattle's right there. I'd they say they are a contender, make a yeah. not a pretender. Yeah, Silvers look like shit, but uh, but once again, Glanville's got a good defense. Silvers is a little banged up. Well, and much like uh, the Seahawks to a certain degree, I think Seattle is a team. It's going to be tough to go into Seattle and win. I don't know if they have the talent to really compete on the road and uh, the roughnecks they've been looking great. You have roughneck fever, but I think there is some legit questions about uh, their defense. They've let up six touchdowns, which scored nine. Yeah. They've scored nine, but second in the league for as far as touchdowns allowed. So something we'll get into when we start talking about DFS, uh, you, uh, roughnecks kind of maybe the Kansas city chiefs. We got, you got PJ Walker, poor man's Patrick Mahomes. I don't oh. know. Once again, I'll, I'll state this on every podcast. We do this. PJ Walker is better than Sam Darnold. <laughs> PJ Walker. I think will be a starting quarterback in the NFL come this season. <laughs> How is this guy out of the league? I don't understand. No, I, the dude's looking really good and maybe it's just the competition so bad, but uh, I, I just like the way he runs around the pocket, the way he his, his release, athleticism, his yeah. ball placement, uh, the athleticism. Like I, I don't know how that doesn't translate to at least Dude, some job okay. in the NFL. Maybe I'm joking with the Darnold thing, but uh, Trevor Simeon is their backup. You cannot tell me that Trevor Simeon is better than PJ Walker. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no, no there's way. Some really bad. There's no way. Well, and again, that's everyone goes to that argument when they when they start talking about Kaepernick, who didn't want to play in the XFL. I mean. Sure, he said he demanded uh, thirty million or so, twenty million dollars. <laughs> the league's only worth like ten million dollars. <laughs> can, can I ask a serious question? That's why? It. Why wouldn't he play if he's trying he, he to get? Play. He doesn't want to play. He doesn't want to play football. Yeah. What do you mean? I like what you're doing there, Ryan. But it's very obvious. <laughs> Gallon Kaepernick <laughs> doesn't want to play football. Here, you want to show everyone what a instead of you know throwing at a high school gym. Did he get twenty million to throw at that high school field? No. You know, take the two million you're gonna get in the XFL. Show everyone, like, hey, dude, I can ball the fuck out. Put me, make me a week one starting quarterback in the NFL. Dude, twenty million. He he's not being serious. The XFL would never pay him twenty million. No, but I, I think yeah. he I think he is being serious because that's he's getting twenty million a year from Nike. So if he plays in the XFL and looks like dog shit and loses his NFL is Nike sponsorship, it's gonna cost him twenty million. So I think. I think he's actually making a good business decision by saying, listen, I don't know if I'm still going to be good anymore. I'm realistic. Uh, If you really thought you were going to be that good, you, well, there's one thing we know that PJ Walker is better than Colin Kaepernick. (laughs) Oh, a hundred percent. And he's not, he's not starting the NFL. There's a lot of, there's a lot of weird shit. Are you sure? Is that, you want to be on record saying that? Yes. 
Okay. PJ Walker is better than Colin we're two Kaepernick. games. Whoa. In. Whoa. We're two. We're two games. Colin in. Kaepernick once played in a Super Bowl. <laughs> Philip or PJ Walker will be playing in a Super Bowl or in an X Bowl very soon. <laughs> so did uh, so did Big V, the uh, backup right tackle for yeah. the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles. It doesn't mean. Yeah. He says the starting left tackle in the Super Bowl. And unlike the 49ers, the Eagles won. So it, it's easy to like kind of fall off the map. Tony Banks took a snap in a Super Bowl, man. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're trying to help or hurt your argument, but All right, let's, well, let's, well, let's took finish a snap up the, the recap on the Roughnecks Battle Hawks. Kramer had Houston minus eight. Colby and I correctly had St. Louis plus eight. Although I feel like, I got like, a, feel like a little bit of a backdoor cover there by the Battle Hawks, <laughs> the only over of the weekend. Uh, actually, no man, that was offsides. They missed a call on a pick. On Ta- an interception, t- yeah. Tamu threw a pick and it was almost a pick six. They tackled him at like the five yard line, and the defender is clearly offsides. Well, I don't know. <laughs> So we would we would have covered regardless. That's okay. what I'm saying. All right. Well, I'm. We know what we're doing. Eight points. Eight <laughs> points fell a little high because I think the Battle Hawks are solid. Uh, and again, uh, Houston teams are putting points up against this Houston defense. Just something to keep a lookout for as we continue on this season. And there are there are a couple teams that have been have only had home games and vice versa. So. That's also something to consider. Everyone's got the uh, the Roughnecks number one. No one's talking about the DC Defenders and that That's awesome special teams, great defense. You know, everyone. Look, I saw the power rankings on all these schmucks. <laughs> all these schmucks. There's eight teams on Twitter. Everyone's got the Roughnecks ahead of the Defenders. I'm offended. All right, so I think if you see rankings that have the anything but the Defenders and the Renegades at the top, then you can start Renegades. having them. Sorry, roughnecks. the Roughnecks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have roughneck fever. <laughs> Not <laughs> renegade fever. Not <laughs> renegade fever. If you see rankings that don't have Houston and DC at the top, there's a problem there. Yeah. Now, if you want to, if you're telling me that everyone's you, got roughneck, Colby, Dantabase, Dant, really, th- this is this is your John Elway. This is you. you just you you is pick these, Walker or you pick Jones? these hills to die on. Why? What, Who cares? We're two mean? games in. DC to me. Is a slight favorite right now mm. against the Roughnecks. The Roughnecks, but I'm not mad at you if you're you putting the Roughnecks ahead. No, I'm every, saying I, right now if I'm using the database, only look at the resume of games played. DC is better. Like you can't argue that DC, based on their defense, is better. I thought you had Roughneck fever. I'm really I, liking I, what, I what's have, happening over here. <laughs> I have rough neck fever <laughs> and I do believe it's going to be difficult for I'm gonna, DC. I'm going to Google rough neck fever and I just, <laughs> can we buy this it's, domain? It's on urban dictionary for sure. Right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a uh, extreme violations. I don't know if I can <laughs> click on that. Well, there, well, there's actually, there's a team in Calgary called the rough neck. So a lot of that's going on uh, indoor football league. Yeah. So Return of Judge Roughneck and Dub Specials. All right, interesting. I'm not again. I'm not going to click on Extreme Violations too. <laughs> roughneck Yellow Fever. <laughs> wow, I feel like that crosses a lot of lines. But uh, yeah, Houston. Uh, da- they they totally remind me of the Chiefs right now, as far as uh, a team that's similar. We're going to get to the last game of the XFL recap: Wildcats Renegades, a game that you were at, Colby. That's right. But before we talk about that. Time to talk about our pals over at Simply Safe. Earlier, Colby uh, had trouble getting into uh, the uh, studio. You know why? Simply Safe, secure location. It's locked down. Now, I'll, I'll joke on aside. Uh, we do use Simply Safe here in the studio. Ryan has a tremendous amount of very valuable electronics in here, podcasting gear, four giant 56 inch TVs. Kramer, I know you just got the Simply Safe video doorbell. I did. How's that working out for you? It's a video doorbell, and it's great. I love it. I, I did. I, it took me a while to figure it out, but I wanted to go with someone I could trust. I don't want Amazon watching my video of the front <laughs> of my house. I don't want Google watching video of the, fr- the front of my house. Uh, the other day, I was having a conversation about something in my car. I get home, bam, Amazon's trying to sell it to me. Mm. I can't do that. <laughs> you know what you need? Simply safe. They keep you safe, keep you secure. 
entry motion, glass break sensors. And then again, what's cool about it is the uh, video evidence. So if someone breaks into your house, they call up to police, they go, uh, Hey, this guy wearing a hoodie, um, some weird hat. <laughs> I think he's the database. He's broken into our house. The, the cops go, okay, we're very familiar. We'll be right over because <laughs> there are a lot of false alarms in the alarm, uh, burglar alarm game, but the <laughs> video evidence that simply safe security professionals use <clears throat> results in 350% faster than a normal burglar alarm. And again, you set it up, you set it up yourself. Very easy to set up. No tools needed. Um, do you have this at the green household? Yes. Just got a uh, simply safe hooked it up. Worried like, about Juan. <laughs> yeah. You never know who may be coming <laughs> around prowling. There's a cat that uh, possibly dangerous. And uh, there's some local teenagers. I had my bike stolen. I wish I had simply safe before. So who, who steals a man's bike? Oh, that's happened to me before too. I live yeah. in Venice. I got to get, uh, I mean, I do have simply safe now. I wish I would have had it four years ago when I had my bike stolen, but alas, Ryan, like you said, it's all about looking through the windshield. And the windshield I'm seeing is not having any of my shit stolen thanks to Simply Safe. Go to simplysafe.com slash SGP to today to get free shipping on your order. Plus the 60 day money back guarantee that's simplysafe.com slash SGP S I M P L I safe.com slash SGP. <clears throat> was that the same bike that you biked to San Pedro to be a part of my pilot? Yes, that was. <laughs> I was uh I was framed for he a D the San Pedro, dude. Well, it, some of it was on a bus, but I, it's uh 45 LA miles, which is uh <laughs> tremendous. Uh if you if you if you're not familiar with the landscape. Like, it's like a one and a half hour bus ride and like an hour bike ride combined. Th then he was like psyched when when we gave him a ride. Of course we're going to give you a ride. I find out you bike the San Pedro. <laughs> I I could not find roughneck fever, but I could find roughneck penny dropper. A <laughs> <laughs> a rig man that bitches drop their panties for it. Oh, Hold man. on, Colby. Let me use that for you in a sentence. Oh, that Mike Claxton. He is a rough neck panty <laughs> dropper for sure. You'll oh, need to bring an extra pair unless you don't mind sitting in a puddle. Well, let me tell you something. Oh, oh that P oh that PJ Walker is a rough neck oh, panty dropper. Oh. All right, because he's throwing dimes all over the field. Well, let's get to the game you were at, Colby. The Wildcats came up short, eighteen to the. 25 for the renegades. You and uh, Kramer had Dallas minus four, even though you were going to support the wildcats, you picked the renegades, the hated renegades, but uh wildcats. I had the wildcats plus four came up short. What was the XFL game day experience watching at home? It seemed much louder than any chargers game no, I've it, watched it, it, and I've watched them all because we're friends of course with San Diego. <laughs> Super Chargers, Chargers. Number sixty, Justin Decker. I mean, I I was uh, really surprised that that many people showed up, and like once again, like I got there about an hour and a half early. People were tailgating. I was really, really surprised. There was not much tailgating when I went to the uh, Chargers Eagles game. Yeah, I don't know. Just maybe the ticket pricing's bringing in a. Uh, you know, some <laughs> some hooligans that are, that, that are for good fun people. What was the ticket pricing? Well, I I went I went top uh, top dollar for us. What, what you know was what top I mean? dollar? Fifty dollars, sixty. Well, okay. Where did that get you seats? Like third row. <laughs> third row, yeah. fifty yard line. They were trying to push. They were trying to push twenty on me. Well, here's here's what's what's crazy is XFL Jim, who I met up with one of our fans. Okay. He Shout bought, out to XFL Jim. He bought one for like twenty, and then he just walked up and sat next to us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so, so he kind of beat the system. Wait, yeah. it wasn't a sellout. No, 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 no. But I, like I said, in I, LA, you're telling I me I was pleasant. I thought coming into it, we, I had an over under on uh, I was guessing six thousand fans. Right? Oh no, they they almost hit fifteen. That's what I'm saying. Like I was really impressed. I have two pro. This is an open letter to Vince McMahon and the WWE slash XFL. <laughs> when you're when you're spinning up a new football league. And your goal is to cash in on kind of similar to the AFF, like get some of these college studs. You know, it would make sense to attack some of these like sports starved cities like Seattle, yeah. Houston, huge market, can support more, right? Obviously, Dallas, this is football, New York, huge city, whatever. LA, huge city, whatever. What are we doing? And then you come and just copy the soccer logo? You just <laughs> copy the, the, the LAFC logo. That's true. <clears throat> but I bet you he was looking at the soccer turnouts. No, he was looking at 
a why city with 11 put, million people. Why did they not put this in San Diego? And then all the I, I, former chargers fans could go, yeah. Hey, you know what? We want to say fuck you to the chargers and embrace <clears> the Wildcats. I think the AAF had some type of contract still with uh, s- something. I heard Oliver Luck the, talk about it, something where he couldn't go in this year to San Diego. And then that was like right before he sent a care package to his son backpacking <laughs> through Yugoslavia. He he Andrew could. needs his granola bars. Please, my son. He said Yugoslavia. There are some. There are some of, the, are some of the other backpackers are being Yugoslavia mean to Yugoslavia hasn't Andrew. been a country since like 1992. I love this. He's. He, I need this to get there in two days. He lost book be, six of the Harry Potter <laughs> trilogy. Some some hooligans stole my son's honey, passport. Honey, you packed the gr- granola, didn't you? <laughs> he knew oh. he needs Gorp. He's a growing boy. Fucking Sean, pussy. I think we need to start having. I just thought of the greatest bit. <laughs> the, the second greatest bit after the bites bracket. I think Andrew Luck needs to start calling into the show and leaving us <laughs> voicemails from his trip. <laughs> yes. Backpacking trip. That and uh, I still want Scott Tolzien. Yeah. We're trying to track down Scott Tolzien. <laughs> well, if there's anyone within the Badgers, I'm gonna do a Freedom of Information Act request. <laughs> because I think they're a public school and I think they have to respond with Scott Tolzien's email address. I've been on their website a number of times and I can't crack the code. Scott Tolzien, like the coward he is, is not on Twitter or social media. But if you know Scott Tolzien, if you're in Wisconsin, we, we have a lot of Wisconsin program, fans. Someone has to know Scott Tolzien or, on. or one of his friends. Or, or just the AD. Someone. Listen, let, let me, uh, you guys are both hot over this. Sean, for sure. We just want to ask him some questions. No, There's yeah. not going to be any I violence. I like Scott Tolzien in a way. <laughs> There's not going to be any violence. Fucking asshole. <laughs> but he needs to know. He needs to know what happened. He needs to know that after he threw that pick six, <laughs> he altered the life of Sean stacking that money green. And you well, know- he made someone's <laughs> dream come true, and then he cost me eight hundred grand. So, <laughs> anyway, back to I my hope point. he's happy with himself. Vince. XFL team. Get Who Scott Tolzien. No. <laughs> don't don't just go to the big market. And I could have told you this was gonna if, if there's a reason It's not failing though. Oh no no. The XFL is not failing. No, I know I'm saying LA. I, I was I was pleasantly surprised with that. You weren't like thinking, damn, fifteen thousand? No. I just think it's going to fail because people don't care about this kind of shit in LA. Uh I was out there tailgating with the Wildcat bunch, and let me tell you, bunch of Wildcats, <laughs> bunch of Wildcats out giving there, giving out man. some SGP but lighters. Who, yeah. who are these people though? Because they aren't rooting <laughs> who for are regular are these football. people. No, they're uh, a lot of them. I, I, there was a strong amount of. Uh, Is I this mean, like the hipster? Actually, sports you ha- get this, get this, man. Some of the people- hashtag Dejans only. <laughs> That's who they are. Half the uh, I gave away like five or six lighters to a group from Vegas that came out because they didn't want to like this is their closest XFL team and they're all about the XFL. All right, all right. But also, but then there was uh, a lot was dude a lot of uh, Latinos there, you know. Sitting there, we gotta get some video of Colby saying Latinos (laughs) barbecue, and I was asking where the women were. You know what I mean? But where the ladies at? Yeah. the women barbecue? are women are buying into the XFL. And Not yet, but they'll rate. follow. They will follow. All right. Anyway, women women who listen to this podcast are buying in. Uh, so shout out to the four female listeners we have. Thanks for uh, supporting the new XFL league. All right, we're going to uh, any any other thoughts on the game? I mean, I, I watched it. Wildcats. Wildcats. They kind of hurt themselves. Josh Johnson wasn't sharp, but he was injured. He rushed him back. Yeah, he got better as the game well, went look along. Good, look good, second half. Renegades kind of um Nelson? A, and and I had uh and Nelson Spruce is a, <laughs> is a player. Animal, He's a player. Yeah. He made some great catches. And then uh Renegades Dunbar and then uh Curtis Payne or whatever. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. They've both been like great players DFS. Uh I actually like that play DF I mean we're going to get there DFS wise though of fading the uh the run defense of LA. Was not very impressed. No. No, certainly not. So if you're what, looking for a DC, uh, what part of LA back, are you impressed with? Uh, like I said, 15,000 fans, okay. uh, Nelson Spruce, Josh Spru- Johnson, second half. Spruce is good. All right. Let's, let's talk about games. We will. Let's talk about it. Do you want to move over to the uh, yeah, let's do a, a little week three DFS slate before we do that quick shout out to Vincero watches. Ooh, look at that. If you're watching the YouTube uh, com slash sports gambling podcast. You're seeing a man. It's 12:15 a.m. 
I feel alive. I feel on top of the world because I got this watch, this sweet Vincero watch, giving me confidence. It's just, <laughs> I, I love the word timepiece. It feels, Colby, you're an old school guy, right? Don't sure. Im, don't don't like the digital <clears throat> world. Yeah, yeah. Keeping things old school. A nice watch, a nice stylish watch, really, is uh is is a key to like having a cool look, letting people know you're old school. I mean, it's stylish, bold, built to last. Normally, that costs a pretty penny. Vincero watches, they're changing that. You deserve to look good. Yeah. Colby, you deserve to look good. <clears throat> that's that's what they say. No matter you know what, what your budget is, Vincero create exceptionally crafted watches. They do it without breaking the bank. Honestly, do yourself a favor. Go to VinceroWatches.com slash nation. Check out all the stuff they have. And then when you're checking out, use that promo code SGP, get 15% off. Watch comes in a super nice case and to make things better, free shipping. Get yourself a nice watch. It really, it really makes a difference. And now I, I'm to the point where if I don't have my watch on, I feel completely naked. Don't feel naked again. Get one of these sweet Vincero watches. 20,000 five star reviews. That's almost as good as our iTunes reviews. <laughs> Remember, subscribe, rate, and review. Again, <laughs> free shipping, 30 day returns, but you're not going to need it. They guarantee your watch for two years. VinceroWatches.com, promo code SGP, 15% off. Do it. DraftKings, DFS, quarterback, Colby, what are you doing? Who are you starting this week? Uh, I'm going to St. Louis. I Ooh. think there's value in Jordan Tamwell. I was really impressed with uh, the way he played in Houston. Like I said, one of those interceptions should have never happened. Yeah. And, and as the game went on, once again, I really th thought this dude's a stud, man. I think he's probably the second or third best quarterback in the league. Now they're coming home to St. Louis. This place, I, from what I understand, I, once again, you never know the source you're reading this from on the, on, 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 on Twitter. Uh, sold out. The stadium sold out. Yeah. Again, St. Louis is a great market because they really Perfect want to say market. screw yeah. the NFL. <clears throat> we love football. We're yeah. going to embrace the XFL. And they were even showing like video, their watch parties. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And, and battle lit. Hawk yeah. fever, fun, fun town. And uh, it's cool. They got a team in their rally. I think there's good value for him right now. Yeah. Against the renegades defense at home. He's $10,100. No, 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 no. He's, he's playing. Uh, he's playing the guardians defense. What did I say? You said renegades. Renegades. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Come you're, on, dude. You're guardians. They're all running together. Kramer, <laughs> what are you doing for your uh, quarterback? Well, I, I think you can go two angles. I think you can look to play the angle. I think you're looking to do, which is that Tampa Bay fade the Houston defense. There has been opportunity, but who's playing. They've been using three different quarterbacks. Well, that's, that's a B don't overthink a good thing. Let's go with Walker again. <laughs> yep. I'm paying up. But Tampa Bay is hot. Glanville's got that defense playing ball though. Two things we know. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Hot, 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 hot. Well, two things I know. <laughs> we we know there're two two good teams and we know there's two bad teams. Yes. Vipers are one of those bad teams. The, so the defense is really not bad, dude. We watched both games. The first game in New York they only gave up like I think ten points the on defense, and then last week, I mean, before Flowers throws that interception in the end zone, you know, like roughnecks. Yeah, next I, I think that I, I have, I'm also uh, starting PJ Walker. He's eleven thousand five hundred, but the guy's electric. And really, this is for entertainment purposes. I love. I like <laughs> yeah, Barry Sanders. I like the watching the guy play. I'm gonna throw him in the lineup. <laughs> Uh, we'll get to it later, but Cam Phillips is questionable. So I think there's a bunch of value in some of the other roughnecks uh, pass catchers and we'll, we'll hit, hit on that coming up. But Kobe, what are you doing at your uh, running back slot? All right. I'm going to live and die with this guy. Cause he's kind of burned me the, f the first two weeks. So I'm going Presley from DC, just strictly, Again. strictly based on LA Steve run defense being bad. I think it's one of the worst you, run defense. You got 23 it. career carries for 63 yards. <laughs> A night, a stout two point seven. <laughs> I'm yards still winning attempt. money when I pick this guy, so maybe he's yeah. a good luck charm. He's a glue <clears throat> guy. You need him. Well, which guy do you pick? You got to play. I mean, don't you play one of the DC running backs this week? I think you have to, right? I mean, Donnell Pumphrey at your own at your own peril. What are you doing, Kramer? Uh, I also <laughs> consider also <laughs> consider Lance Dunbar. I threw him out last week. It's a disgusting act to have a cowboy, but. He's leading the league, I think, for running backs as far as pass catchers. Twelve targets, eleven catches, sixty-three yards. He also has uh, sixty-nine yards running the ball in the two games. So he's averaged twelve point one uh, fantasy points per game. Not a bad play 
at uh, sixty eight hundred. I didn't have. I didn't end up going with him. But what'd you do, Kramer? I'm taking a guy from my <clears throat> from my Guardians, <laughs> mm. and that's Mr. Tim Cook. Ooh, uh, he, you know, he's pretty good, actually, man. Well, I was impressed with him. He's the one guy. Yeah, that's <laughs> popped off the tape. Not only that, I think there's going to be some opportunity against the St. Louis team, and the price seemed good considering. Uh, I think the pricing is is telling me that the marketplace thinks that, or at least the person. Imagine being the people that have to set these prices. <laughs> I mean, what are they? They're throwing pickles at the at the window and hoping they stick. I, I think this is saying Victor is the better player. Uh, perhaps more opportunity, he's slightly higher price, but I'm gonna go Tim Cook, forty two hundred, trying to save some money here. Like the matchup for my Guardians. Nice. All right, I'm going. You guys aren't even paying attention. Yeah, no, I am. Yeah. I said my Guardians. <laughs> They're not my I team. Mean, I only have one. They team. are your Guardians. That's why it made sense to me. I'm going with James Butler, Houston oh. Roughnecks running back. He's uh he's had some games, and again, I think Cam Phillips being banged up uh, could uh, see Butler, uh, the running back, having a little more impact. He's 8,500, but he's averaging 14.8 fantasy points per game. Of course, Houston going into Tampa Bay, but uh, Butler had a touchdown receiving and rushing. He's got a couple already in the season. So, what's the latest on Cam Phillips? Uh, questionable. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. It doesn't seem like they go deeper than that. Colby, what are you doing for your first receiver? First receiver, I'm going with one uh, Nelson Spruce. You know, you got to just if you're going to have a roster. I mean, he's leading the the league in, in receiving, much like your PJ Walker play. How can you not take Nelson Spruce because they're playing to the defenders and their secondary is good? I think Spruce will still get his. N- Nelson has had 24 targets, 17 catches, 192 between the two games. Two touchdowns. He's also had a long of 44 yards. I mean, that was what exciting. It, it felt like LA was kind of conservative. Then when they had their backs against the wall, they're like, hey, let's just throw it deep to Nelson Spruce. Maybe we get more of that uh this week. I also had Nelson Spruce, 10,900. He's pricey. But again, DC, they are two and oh, but both games were at home, much like the Roughnecks. Now you long gotta go to the West trip. Coast. Tough environment. Yeah, the Wildcat heads will be fired up. They'll be they'll be in the cage down at Dignity Health Sports Sean, Park. This is going to be the first game in the XFL where we see LA outnumbered. There will be a number of DC fans there. Yeah, you know there will be a number. You know of the Roughnecks travel. They just do. All right, Kramer, what are you doing for your first receiver? Are you I'm, joining I'm, us uh, with Nelson yeah, I mean, Spruce? I, I don't know. How He's can Christian you not? McCaffrey, right? Is is yeah? I was high. saying. Uh, yeah, who's that? Who's that tool for the Patriots? Edelman. Yeah, he's kind of Edelman well, too. But he this is dude is going to be on the. We're joking, but this dude's going to be uh, on the Patriots. A white guy who just catches everything. <laughs> All right, Colby, who's your second receiver? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Holly uh, with, oh. with Houston. I like this play. I had him last week, and and the fact that Cam Phillips is questionable. I, That's I, huge. I'm gonna leave my guy Cam Phillips. I backed him for the first two weeks, uh, but Holly, you know, he did good last week and. If he's getting on more, getting on the field more often, I expect him to uh, put up better numbers. Well, so let's talk about this because I think everyone, like Cam Phillips, is an obvious stud in the XFL. He is a lunch pail type of player coming from Blue Virginia Cal. Tech in Blacksburg. <laughs> Got to throw that in there. He's gonna, he's gonna in, play in Blacksburg. <laughs> I know he's gonna. I know he knows how to play through injury. Uh, but who is the guy that would fill in for him? Because I think no, no. matter who that guy is, there's <clears throat> going to be value there. Right? Well, and if you watch the game, because I also have uh, Holly, and he's one of those guys where some of the DFS sites actually had him listed as a running back. He is a running back number, but it's very clear he's a the slot. How's the slot? He's a slot receiver. I actually had him as a running back last week. Yeah, and I think DraftKings this week switched him over yeah. to receiver because he's clearly in the role of receiver. So I think he is the guy and that's why I'm playing both the running back and the receiver to stack with the quarterback. Uh, great value in this guy. Uh, 4400? 4400 seems Maybe really cheap, the best for, especially yeah. with the uh, you know whatever sort of stuff is going on with uh Cam Phillips. So Kramer, what are you doing for your well, uh, I'm, second I'm, receiver? So I, I also so considering Holly Considering a couple of the other options, I think you guys just talked me into Holly. Mm. You got to stack someone with Walker. What I'll probably end up doing is saving the money and making sure I can just put Cam Phillips in there when he starts, because I, I think he'll probably. St- My sources are telling me, because as you know, 
very plugged in with the Roughnecks organization. I don't know if you know this, Sean, but I did have to turn the Roughnecks down. They offered me a beat reporter job. Didn't feel like I could do it responsibly remote from Los Angeles. <laughs> so I turned them down, but I am plugged into the organization and I am being told that Cam Phillips is going to play. Mm. So does that do you do you, if, if he's gonna play, are you gonna grab him? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, he's I mean, been great for us the first two weeks, man. I, I think and I'll pull the clip, but I think I told you he is a great receiver and he was going to be great. So uh Roughnecks. Well, Ryan, real quick, uh quick sidebar. We're talking about pulling the clip. We actually pulled a clip of one of the Wildcat defenders doing the little sideline interview, <laughs> and uh it was priceless. The visual is very strong too, so Make sure you check it out or go to sports gambling podcast.com. I'll embed it in the post so you can see the video. But yeah, please play the clip because it's a great, it's a great reaction to a sideline interview. Up, my bad. Technical difficulty. All back for his offense. Reggie, what's your defense doing well? Hey, you're looking real different. You're looking <laughs> real different. <laughs> How so? Making plays, getting balls out, you know. Reggie Moss or Coach Moss wants his team to play with more heart. We're seeing that early on, Tom. Reggie Howard seeing the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guy's yeah. looking right into the camera like he, he, we different. We different. <laughs> we doing something different. I loved it. It was great. All right, Colby, give us your flex. What are you doing? Uh I'm on Cook, this running back from New York. Mm. Uh he's good. I think I think he's uh the only bright spot, like Kramer mentioned before, uh, I'm impressed by watching this guy run. So easy enough. And, and St. Louis's St. Louis defense still isn't like lighting the world on fi- world on fire. You know, Kramer, what are you doing? I'm going back to Rashad Ross. Uh, I I know he didn't do a ton. I I just L.A. stinks. Uh, Rashad Ross though was open a couple of times. They missed him. That would have been a deep like one of them would have been like a 50 yard touchdown. He's still him. not cheap. Yeah. So well, I'm, I'm, I'm going, and he's a, he's a defender guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going the other uh, receiver there. I'm going uh, DeAndre Tompkins. I heard his name Dude, called he a bunch. Good man. He looked very he looked really good. good this past week. Uh, coming off a nine target, six catch, ninety two yard game. Uh, he didn't. I don't. He didn't play the first game, or at least didn't uh, register a catch. So yeah, season. He missed the season opener with a foot injury. Had a very strong uh, second game or, or first game for him. And I think going up against this LA defense, there's gonna be opportunities. I think he cashes in, and he's only 5,700. I feel like you're getting starting receiver uh, productivity at uh, deep, deep value, deep discount. I, I had him on uh, on one of my ones coming. I, I did two lineups already. Is that is that <laughs> am I revealing? I'm the happy you're getting into something, Colby. Oh, no, you got good. it. You know. That's Thank good. you for participating you, in man. the Sports Gambling Podcast. Who is your second? Who's your second? Flex guy. Uh, he had a, he had a bad week last week, but I'm going back to the well mainly because you saw uh, Nelson Spruce have a great game against Dallas. I'm going with Austin Prohl. Brandon mm. Silver should be healthier. <laughs> so get. Yeah. What do you mean? Why are you laughing at me? On this? I, you just love this guy. Yeah. You love this guy. Dude, what are you talking about? He, his brother's at East Carolina. You know what I mean? Got, he, I'm he's tapped got, in. Austin Prohl's haircut looks very odd. He, he looks like a guy who should be. Remember Abercrombie and Fitch? Like there would be those guys like folding the shirts in the store. He looks like a dude that would be wearing like a hemp necklace, cargo shorts, Birkenstocks. Yeah, but look, I mean, look, Keenan Reynolds had a good uh, day last last Sunday or Saturday. He's got, he's got two touchdowns already. So, so and that was in week one. He had a bad week last week. I yeah. expect him. And Silver's wasn't healthy. Silver's couldn't was really struggling a lot of that game. Yeah, bounce back game. And again, that's why I love the backup quarterback for Seattle. I didn't think they were going to make Silver's play through it, and they did. So I was wrong there. Uh, Kramer, well, what's your second slot or second flex guy? The slot. Ooh, the slot. How are we feeling <laughs> about that? The, uh, not to go back to Bites bracket, but I, uh, the more I think about this Lenny Dykstra, I think we under. Yeah. I think we underseeded. Lenny yeah. is a character. Uh, <laughs> at the six seed. No, from uh, sorry, Should I'm shuffling be around seed. because I I I I. I probably wound up having Cam Phillips, but I'm shuffling him around. And for my flex, I, I like what you said earlier about the flexibility of just grabbing some of these PPR running backs because these if there's one thing, one consistent thing I've seen in the XFL is everyone's getting their running back involved. 
even if it, that running back is playing a wide receiver position, yeah. they're yeah. getting running backs involved. And that's, you know, if we want to talk about how this may progress the NFL, that might be it. Lance Dunbar. Yeah. So 6, he's, got, he's got 11 catches for Again, a running back. High floor. I, uh, my, my numbers are telling me that this, uh, this has some potential for there to be some points up there in Seattle. Mm. The air raid spreads the ball out. You know what I mean? Spreads the ball. So he'll get some, he'll get some looks. Thank you for my, for my, I am close personal friends with Mike. Lee, so <laughs> you know I who else know is Willie Nelson. There's a great photo of <laughs> Willie Nelson talking to coach Leach that like That's that uh, a Mississippi state bar stool uh, posted. And it was like, this is the only photo that matters right now. <laughs> Would you not just want to be a fly on the wall of that conversation oh, man. Two just guys with just like fun philosophies <laughs> hanging out, talk, a Bigfoot <clears throat> conversation, yeah. music. Would I, 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 it would just be great hearing those two dudes just Agreed. chop it up. Maybe also, we get, maybe uh, we get Willie on the podcast. Yeah, let's see if would we also like straight. to know what Willie uh, Willie's doing for the rest of the night. If you know what I mean, <laughs> it's getting involved in. Uh, g- he's going to be hanging out with like, Greg. Why, Robinson. why is he on a college yeah. campus? Tell What's Willie, to, tell Willie to move uh, to Vegas for March Madness. Dude, where, where is Willie Nelson <laughs> going to score weed in Mississippi? He's got to go to uh, AKA Stark Vegas for my second <laughs> flex. I'm going. I'm picking up a Tampa Bay Viper. I think this you're, you're is really going with these Vipers, huh? Well, I, I think they've played two road games. Now they come home. They're going up against Houston, who I think is a very good team. But again, Houston's played two home games. I think Tampa Bay has a more potent offensive performance. Reese Horn coming off eight uh, targets, five catches for 51. Uh, and he's pretty cheap. Uh, he's been fairly consistent, eight catches overall. On 13 targets, 93 yards. I think it's a decent spot for them at home against this Houston defense, which is kind of played soft. Uh, $4,200, good value. Give me Reese Horn. I like it. I like it. What? And now closing things out, defense. I struggled with defense because the top four defenses are all on the road. Um, I have 4,800, so I can get any defense except. The Roughnecks the, in Tampa Bay. There's only one play here, and I've told you the this defenders? for three straight weeks. The defenders have like what three <laughs> defensive touchdowns already. The defenders are averaging twenty f- three <clears throat> and a half fantasy points per game. I'm going off the grid because I'm trying to win this hundred thousand dollars. I'm going with the Dragons at home. Mm. That is, they have a home field advantage. We also know I that like Dallas it. sucks. <laughs> their only home game, their last home game, their only home game, they put up 23 fantasy points, three touchdowns, pick six, pick, pick six. six. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going with the dragons at home against Dallas. I, will say, I, I, love I wasn't the, really impressed with Landry Jones either. I love, yeah. I mean, I love the defenders angle, but they're going on the road. First road game but in LA. Is it a road game? Here's the other thing, <laughs> LA. It's it's seventy degrees. There's a ton of sun in that stadium, and your home jerseys are black. You guys got to come on! Like those guys must have been adding. Why would you sweat so much unnecessarily? A better reason to take the defenders. There is nothing dumber than that. Like yeah. you play in a hot area, you need to know that you're not wearing dark jerseys. Like, period. <laughs> also. Pro tip: Don't copy the local soccer team's logo. Uh, <laughs> You're really upset about this. I had three thousand dollars. It was either the Wildcats or the Vipers, the, as you pointed Wait, out. Wildcats. Earlier, I mean, for defenders. my defense. You I, w- you went with the Wildcats defense? Right no, now? I'm saying I had three thousand. I had to choose between the Wildcats and the Vipers. And oh. as you pointed out earlier, the Vipers have at least looked like they can play the defense. Dude, so, they hit hard too, man. That, so I like their defense. You're probably wondering, wow, you're fading rough neck neck fever with your defense. No, it's the ultimate hedge job. I've loaded <laughs> up on rough necks. So if things go south, I at least have the Tampa Bay defense. Well, and the DC defenders really carried me uh, as far as DraftKings go. Yeah. I can't be turning your back on them, man. No, you know, sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta, you don't change horses midstream, John. You with the horses midstream. <laughs> you do when it comes to picking, uh, picking your DFS lineup. All right, we got our week three official locks, dogs for the XFL. Lines courtesy of my bookie. Hey, why don't why aren't you taking XFL bets? Why aren't you booking XFL action? That's right. If you head over to aceperhead.com/sgp, that's aceperhead.com/sgp. SGP, you can become your own online sports book. And if you use our link, acefred.com slash SGP, you can get up to six weeks free 
plus ace per head offers live betting and an amazing mobile experience. We got top notch customer support going 24 seven. Some of the sharpest lines in the industry. They'll set you up all inclusive professional betting site. All the lines updated to the second wagers graded immediately. And these XFL lines are all over the place. <laughs> you need to connect with ACE aceperhead.com slash S G P. All right, Sean, let's do it. Saturday, 11 a.m. on the West Coast, the Tampa Bay Vipers, they host, as you point out, their first home game mm. against the Houston Roughnecks as they take to the road for their first road game. Roughnecks minus seven, 45 and a half is the total. Wow. We, this is, this is, what would we call this in the NFL? This is, uh, this is where we, we make it or take it. The rubber meets the road. <laughs> make it, take it week. <laughs> it's in the rear view mirror. Well, Contenders and fight. pretenders. <laughs> I don't see how talking about a rear view mirror right now is relevant Colby. So maybe pay attention to the fucking <laughs> message we're looking forward so we can give the clients cold, hard cash in the forms of, of these locks. How you, how your locks doing this year? My <laughs> locks have some room for improvement. I was update. Uh, I'm five and three hundred percent locks Colby six and two hundred percent locks Ryan five and three zero percent locks. Those clients, maybe they should look in the rearview mirror when it comes to your locks. <laughs> I mean, I'm. I, but Kramer I'm, is a hundred percent with his dog, so. Hey, Jay, you can hey. pick a car. That includes like a four to one dot, whatever St. Louis. Which we were all. Yeah. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. We were Do you right. have any, anything else to add? Oh, uh, wait, what were you asking my opinion on this game? Or yeah. what, what are you saying? No. I'm going Houston Roughnecks minus seven. I, I know I made a case for the Vipers. I think the Vipers get some garbage DFS points, but ultimately the roughnecks, it's just too much, uh, too much to handle the total 45 and a half fade Tressman. Yeah. You got to fade Tressman. I, 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 I don't like taking road chalk in the XFL, but I think you make an exception for this. Yeah, like team. three different quarterbacks playing. What the hell is going on? All right. Until I, until that's resolved, I'm, I'm all and especially they're playing PJ Walker. Yeah. Well, it, it seems pretty clear to me that some of these teams took this seriously, and some of these teams are like, "Yeah, I'm Mark Tressman, he's got all these <laughs> he's, these revolutionary concepts he wants to try out." No, no, I like what Houston's doing. It's hard to not want to play Houston if you can find that teaser action in the XFL. Once again, <laughs> they are begging us to tease the Houston Roughnecks. Yeah. I will next time you see me. I will have a Houston Roughneck sweatshirt on, assuming everything goes well with the mail lady tomorrow. You'll be able to watch it. Be, you, you got this. I got this. Do you, we're all we're all lined. We can move on to the second yes. game. Dallas Renegades. They're heading to Seattle. Tough spot here. Seattle getting no respect for the home field. Long travel. Dallas minus five. Forty three and a half is the total. I think we have to realize just how far Seattle is from the rest of this country. We went up to beautiful, the beautiful state of Washington <laughs> to Pullman. It is far and we live on the West coast. So this trip from Dallas, it's going to be, it's going to feel like a cross country flight on those spirit air yeah, planes. <laughs> And I am a little worried about a team from Dallas knowing how to have composure and bring their game up to Seattle for a big moment. This is Seattle. Seattle sold the most season tickets. I, I I think they have a legit home field advantage. This is a money line play, right? This is a home dog. I mean, yeah, I'm all over <laughs> Seattle. Seattle to win outright. I'm, I'm on that uh, too. I, I like the matchup here. I, I didn't see anything from the Renegades that scared me. Um, so yeah, give me the dragons plus five. You gotta feel like silvers is going to be even more healthier. That was huge. Silvers look much better week one than week two, week two. He's struggled. Yeah, I mean, well, uh, and I don't know if they've played games in Seattle between now and then, but the last time I remember a team from Dallas going to Seattle, <laughs> the quarterback <laughs> dropped the extra point and they lost. I so. think I, I think I compared, uh, yeah, there was a moment there where, uh, there was definitely someone pulled a Tony Romo against the yeah. dragons on a missed field goal. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> it's pretty awesome to burn Tony Romo for no reason during just a random February. And that, and that's kind of the, 
the joy you get out of watching the XFL. Well, if things go well enough for the XFL as Colby's rooting for, we might have Tony Romo calling XFL there games in the future. Look go. out. I'm not too excited about that actually. No, he sucks. <laughs> yeah. He's a cowboy. Let's move over to Sunday where the New York Guardians head to St. Louis to take on those Battle Hawks. Twelve o'clock Ca-ca! kick here on the West Coast. Is that what a battle hawk sounds like? Fuck yeah. I'm picturing some sort of bird clanging iron, like iron armor with a sword. They are laying ten points against the gargoyles of New York. <laughs> this of, line jumped a lot of past Gotham. 24 hours. Forty one is the total. Uh St. Louis by ten. Really? Uh, really? This was a seven point spread uh twenty four hours ago. I know New York is the, the dumpster fire of the XFL so and, and, far. and again, Battle Hawks, similar spot. They started out game. with two yeah, two road, first home game. So I, I, I would want to go Battle Hawks, but that number feels a little big to me. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm gonna take the Guardians plus ten. They're coming out, off a shutout. Ryan, does the close your eyes special apply to the XFL? Because mm. uh, I think they underperformed the spread. They lost what was it, twenty-seven to nothing. So they underperformed the spread by twenty points. Now the Guardians are Only catching ten points. points. Only twenty. Oh points? right, so yeah, not Did twenty-one. Did not qualify for the close your eyes special. <laughs> I'm going Guardians plus ten, but this feels like a good stay away for me. Yeah, give me. Uh, I guess ten's a little too much. Give me the Guardians plus the uh, plus the ten. Kramer, are you you taking the Guardians? I'm staying away too. I though, I, I think the Battle Hawks win, but I, I think ten's a hair high. My my take on this is I'm going to take the points. I believe this is our opportunity as an organization organization to step forward and show people. <laughs> so you're leaning into being a guardian. I like. We it. need to fade the public. We need to fade this market movement. Mm. People are starting to see. Oh, what I'm hearing all my friends. They're seeing over, the guardian sucks memes over on XFL. No, they're just hearing about all this money you can win and how easy <laughs> it is to bet unders on the XFL. And I think we're going to see that influence the market. And for that reason, let's fade the public. Okay. And uh, real quick on the totals right now, I'm seeing 45 and a half for roughnecks, vipers, 43 and a half for dragons, renegades, 41 only for guardians, battle Hawks. That's crazy. Cause the spread is uh, 10, 10. Yeah. Uh, still, I'm just going to write in here all unders and just keep riding this and see how long it goes. You got to keep taking the unders. I think that we'll is. We'll see. It's like we're looking the gun down the barrel and we're just saying, fuck you, bring it. <laughs> Be, you think the numbers are going down and it's getting oh, yeah. trickier? They're definitely going down, but they're still over 40, over 42. But fuck I think, it. and I think some of these numbers are still being bet up over the course of the week. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait till, almost, wait till kickoff. Especially when you have so much like a. Uh, Quarterback play up in the air, with the exception of like what two or three teams. And I think Vegas or just the betting public thought that like, oh, you can go for one, two, or three points. That'll move the score up. When in reality, it's pretty hard to even get one point for these guys. <laughs> a two point is from the five yard line, so that's harder than the NFL. And a three point, no one seems to do. So uh, the Wildcats got one. They did, but yeah. I think they got a penalty on it as well to move them up five yards. And that was a weird yeah. thing that they actually went for it. Uh, they were like. I don't know. How about the defenders up twenty seven nothing with a minute left going for three? They didn't yeah. get it. I, I really don't maybe they just wanted to love try the, it. Love the power play and the fuck you to New York. You know <laughs> what I mean? Well that's that that's that classic rivalry you get between <laughs> Houston and New York. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we got one more game left, right? We are. I'm, I'm, you guys are bantering. I'm letting you banter. Oh, but if you're done, wow. I will proceed. 3 p.m. on the West Coast, the Wildcats of Los Angeles. Will the database be in attendance? Potentially. It's, Potentially. It's up in the air right now. The database will be there rooting on his DC defenders. Colby, of course, a fan wow, of the entire his, league. His two My favorite teams My going head to head. What will Colby <laughs> Is do? Is he going to have like the jersey that's like cut in half of like <laughs> one team? Look, I'll oh, be honest. I have a kid that plays I'll be honest. I kind of threw in the towel in LA when they fired Pepper Johnson after week <laughs> one. I'm waiting for Tampa to hire Glanville. I still like LA, but the defenders are my team, man. For someone who ha- argues the most ridiculous points, you are just flipping around this. You fandom. can't fire the defense of court short unless Pepper Johnson fucked his wife. <laughs> and we right? don't know that he didn't. Okay, that would be the only plausible excuse. Well, I, I would, I would. Yeah. I mean, you also can't root for two teams in an oh, eight no. person yeah, eight, you can. Eight team league. I, I've, I I'm going to have three. And when Glanville becomes a head coach, I, I get the logic as to why you'd want to take the Los Angeles wildcats as a dog here. 
No. But they're garbage. No. And unfortunately, the two teams we have identified as championship contenders play the two teams that are clearly in the dumpster. <laughs> I'm laying both road chalk. I agree. Again, if I you agree. can tease this, holy shit, tease it. Yeah. Because you're when taking I, the defenders minus eight and a half. When I watch, you these, guys are crazy. I am. You're, you're going Wildcats again. Yeah. They burned you last week. When, Dude, it's a West Coast trip. DC does not travel. The we DC know fans that fans are going to be there, man. No, this will not be like a DC home game. The I Wildcats disagree. are a proud organization. They're scrappy. They're Sean, literally Wildcats. You're missing the point here. <laughs> the Washington has not had a football franchise for like two decades. <laughs> yeah. People are yeah. hungry for yeah. this. They're going to show up, and, and I think you're underestimating. Like this is a really good football team at all levels. They, special teams are really good. They block the punt, get very close to my comment was going to be about both Houston and DC. They seem to be, they're being run like actual franchises. Yeah. Uh, First not, road game. True. No. Adios. Uh, I, I mean, he got Houston, burned by the wildcats last week. He's going to, he's double no, down. I, I think Sean, yeah, they're getting eight and a half. Sean is somehow, he somehow has this reputation of being a gut handicapper. Mm. Uh, <laughs> But he's being very intelligent right here. This is a great grab of an inflated number. I just don't think DC has the offense to blow a team out on the road, and I think Houston it doesn't does. concern you that the LA run defense gave up. Uh, Artist Payne had like what, a hundred yards? Yeah, but what did you see out of the Wildcats late? They started throwing the ball deep to Delson Spruce, but and and got some garbage points that kept them in the game. And they, I, I think but they could the do that. The best secondary in the XFL with Raheem Moore Whoa. and company. Uh, is Let the defender? I can take, take this if you want, Colby. Yeah. Because I'm, 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 work, I'm workshopping <laughs> some advanced <laughs> analytics, but these advanced analytics yeah. tell me this DC secondary is the greatest secondary in the history of this yeah. XFL. Well, yes. and Josh Johnson had a rough first half. Yeah. He, like you, like you even said, Colby. He's got he got better. Got but, better as as the game went but, along. The Wildcats <laughs> fans will be emboldened by having the SGP lighters. But the, they'll be like, <laughs> the power will go out. They'll be waving. I got a towel. Around. Oh shit! I should have brought the towel. I got a Wildcat towel. Um, but the but the does thing, it also have the soccer team's logo on it? <laughs> <laughs> Look. Uh, the point is here is that the Renegades' pass defense is not the defenders. The defenders have legit Agreed. great secondary, good defensive line, linebackers that make plays, interceptions, this pick is six. A, this is a this is a Nelson Spruce late touchdown for the cover. That's where I'm thinking that. Oh, I like you. Okay. okay. Well, I mean, that's our defense. Let's move on. I mean, I, I disagree, but let's move on. <laughs> No tease, Ryan. Just the lock and the dog presented by mybookie.ag. I'll kick things off. My lock, Ryan. I'm stealing your rough neck fever. Give me Houston minus seven for my dog. Very easy. <laughs> Seattle money line. Ba uh, Dragon. Sorry. Uh, Seattle, St. Louis. Come on. That's We're why figuring he went this first, out. man. He took our Seattle money line, man. I was all over that as well. It's the most <laughs> obvious one. They're also they're the smallest dog. They have an awesome home field, and they're at home. Uh, it's it's a great spot. Tough travel for the Renegades. Kramer, what are you doing? I mean, I, I don't. I I'm the exact same as you. I'm okay. back on Seattle as a home dog. I'm not sure. I, I don't know what we saw last week that would lead you to want to double the number that you're giving Seattle. At no. Home. Uh, and then yeah, for my lock, I'm I'm not stopping with my roughneck fever. I love that. I have a we're, we're, nine to we're, one ticket in my pocket for them to win the championship. I did look into it, Sean. If there is no championship, I lose the bet. I made oh, included shit. a no championship <laughs> game. You're fine. They paid the players. Cody <laughs> said nothing's going to happen. We're going to be all right. I'm starting to think now is the time to get this sold on a secondary market just in case. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what? You guys both did roughnecks, and then we're not Seattle, being huh? fun. We're, no, we you know the what? Then I'm going to be different. Even though I, I definitely think the roughnecks is the obvious one. Because do you want to be different? Tressman? Because different would be not giving out cash in the form of sweet, sweet XFL All right, picks. Let's go chalk. Roughnecks is the play. Uh, the the live dog is Seattle. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, there's there's no way this is gonna work out. <laughs> we gotta get our shit going mentally. And Can you, we, the listeners, you gotta get your shit going mentally. Go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash bracket. Enter uh, the bites bracket competition for your chance to win five hundred dollars. 
cold hard cash. And of course, as always, thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. Subscribe, rate, and review. Kramer, yes. No, I was just gonna say, as we're talking right now, Houston down to minus six and a half over on mybookie.ag. Oh, beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah, I bet it earlier right. in the podcast at minus seven. We're moving lines here because of our live <laughs> YouTube channel, youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. As always, big shout out to the database. Make sure you check out the college experience. It has its own feed. What does that mean? It means you have to put in the college experience into your uh, Apple iTunes, I got, Spotify, Google Play. I got a plus eight hundred defenders ticket to win to win it all. I, I would high five you, but you you seem like you're uh, attacking me with that comment. So <laughs> I, I'm happy for you, DC. Now down to plus one sixty five, Houston to plus two twenty five. And if you're you want to ask me, hey, hey Ryan, I'm a little late to the party. There's probably not value in Houston or DC. What should I do? First of all, my bookie, you should uppercase the C in DC. It's the capital of this country. Be respectful. Secondly, if you wanted to get involved now, Battle Hawks plus eight hundred, as Sean pointed uh, out, they have, they have not played a home game yet. Yeah. Seattle's they, not a bad option. Seattle yeah. at twelve to one. Yeah. This is a team that I have identified clear home field advantage. Yeah, and clear. they didn't play all that bad at DC. You got to remember, Paul slipped on some turf, and a pick six happened. So Dude, was, they they the played, score was deceiving. They played the favorite to win the championship on the road. Yeah. So now you can get them at twelve to one. Enhance your portfolio. I I co-sign that. Boom. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. Have a great night, Sean. I will. Kramer, <laughs> let it ride.